I'll take their career of being like heed by everybody and like everybody thinks they can do a better job than they can and they can't. I'm a big fan of a lot of Pauly stuff. Like Encino Man is a funny fucking movie. I don't know. The weasel shit. Oh, I went to see Jerry Duty in the movie theaters. There was five people there. When it was over, there was two. This is what somebody wrote. Goldberg's the type of guy you instantly block and call the police on. You know, the guy who's always hitting on your daughter and masturbating vigorously at the sight of anything with two legs. The encounter between Salazar and Goldberg is interesting, awkward, and spine-chilling. Next scene, sexual assault. Man, that is brutal, huh? Oh, well, I just watched this movie called Heckler, made by Jimmy Kennedy. And I, I enjoyed it, because it's like, he basically confronts all these idiots, these nerdy guys who look like they're in Star Trek conventions, who have blogs, who just write like how awful he is. And stuff like that, and uh, you just got. I mean, to get to get bashed, you have to be really fucking talented and really accomplished and work really hard to like make your own movie, like the Malibu movie. Like, you know how long it probably took him to write that and rewrite it and to put it together, and like you know come up with like to get Hollywood to make a major motion picture and then to succeed. Like that takes tremendous talent. Trust me on that you know, eight years in the works. So, you know, just to get the opportunity to be bashed is pretty awesome. I mean, Tom Green, like, you know, he was doing his public access show in, the, in Canada and then uh, got his show on MTV. And then, like, you know, it's kind of funny. Like he said, like, in Canada, the bad reviews, there was no bad reviews. It was always like, hey, this guy's got his own show and he's, like, doing it himself. And then once it gets on a higher scale, then everybody starts, like, bashing because... When you get successful, uh, people start hit, bashing you. My friend is a, is a lawyer, and he sent me this really great letter about people online and writing stuff. And uh, he was telling me about how this bodybuilder was going for a job interview at a bank to be a security guard. And he noticed a dude with a gun who was going to rob the bank. So he, like, foils it, and he fucking sits on the guy for, like, two hours. He saves the day. And my friend's like, you know what? We're going to get you all this press. So, like, the first interview he does, they're like, you know, you, 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 you basically took this bank robber down. He's robbed, like, five banks before. The first question they ask him is, are you on steroids? About Larry the Cable Guy. And, like, people, like, bash him. Like, this whole get her done thing. I'm like, dude, you know how many awful road shows that dude did in the South? Like, you know how many awful shows he did with 10 people for 10 years to get? Who am I to tell him what he's doing is stupid? And, like, if people love it and they relate to it, I say more power to him. It's not really my thing, but it's like, damn, man, you, you tapped into, like, what people think and they care about it, and that's awesome. So, like, whatever you do, if you need a puppet, you need to do anything. Like, whatever you do and you make it in this, it's so hard. It's more power to you. Carrot Top, you know what? When I was a kid, he used to always make me laugh. Uh, and uh, he was in the movie too and they read like the reviews it's the most mean nasty things like he's the worst actor his movie was the worst movie in the century and uh, he was really sensitive he's like you know what I got feelings you know and his idea is like the people who love him get him and the, the other people like hate on him and uh, to get and where he is, it's, it still takes tremendous talent and timing and work and bombing and, and all that tenacity that it takes. So it's kind of weird. It's like some people make it far to be praised and get all the great reviews and that's wonderful. And then some people get work really hard to get like a lot of fans and like shitted on by, by and what like not is like critically acclaimed. And then get shitted on by other comics who are like, Oh, you know, you, you're doing it wrong because you're not talking about this and you do this and you supposedly do easy jokes. So just to be destroyed by the, by the press is like an accomplishment in a weird way. I mean, it takes a lot of talent.